Oh, this is Paul? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, X? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the letter X? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 24th letter of the English alphabet. In math is a symbol of an unknown quantity or variable, mm -hmm. a uh, term often used to designate a person, mm -hmm. thing, agency, factor, or the like, mm -hmm. uh, whose true name is unknown uh, or withheld. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seen in Roman numerals. Yes. And then uh, five, a U.S. Uh, $10 bill. Ouch. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you know the treasury building was on the back of the $10 bill? Yeah. Uh -huh. Could you call them for me? Right now! Now, um, it's quite possible. Yes. Uh -huh. Back in the day when individuals were illiterate. Yeah. Uh -huh. They just use an X as their signature. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, let's say that there's a whole lot of illiterate individuals that get wage garnishments because superior court commissioners and judges mm, don't really have an obligation to make sure of the mm, the obligation being satisfied. Mm. Now, on the one side, you have the illiterate American consumer yeah, that could be paying more in garnishment than the actual order. Ouch. And that in and of itself would be a lawsuit against every superior court. Mm. All the uh, mm, the consumer credit um, uh, agencies. Yeah. The individuals, they issue credit cards right now. Mm. It could be worth $100 billion. Boop, boop. Now, you charged it off and you sold it. Yeah. And whomever it was that bought it. Yeah. They had a financial interest in making sure that it was collected. Mm. Now, I'm going to need to know the terms of the actual transaction for the purchase of any of my consumer credit. Yeah. And why it was, yes, that you considered me the illiterate individual that used an X as his signature. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were one of these nefarious types that was involved in some sort of mm, drug sale, yeah, you had uh, mm, a whole stock of individuals that were offering themselves for sex. Mm. You're wanting to launder large amounts of money and doing it in such a way as to not call attention to yourself. Yeah. I'm going to hold liable the credit card industry right now for the use of garnishments to launder money. Mm -hmm. Now, I think I'm right on this, not because I'm super smart. Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm, people have been doing things to illiterate people for very long periods of time. Mm -hmm. And credit card companies, they don't get paid. Mm -hmm. They charge it off. Yep. They do know what they're doing. Yep. They get paid for the securitization of it right now. They get a tax write-off at approximately the 35% tax bracket <clears throat> as a loss. Oh, and then they get whatever they can get from it from those that will buy the debt. <clears throat> they go to court. They get an order of garnishment <clears throat> that happens <clears throat> to exceed the statute of limitations <clears throat> before it's being destroyed. Yeah. And then it finds out yeah, that the idiot that you lend money to was overcharged for the amount of money that they borrowed in the consumer credit agreement. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to know all of those that are in consumer credit, every credit card company, <clears throat> because if I'm right on this, and the unscrupulous individuals that motioned the court for the garnishment, <clears throat> did, oh, 